Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Princess of Aesthetically Princess. Hello, hi. If you are new here, hi, hello, I am Princess. Here on my channel, I do a multitude of things from art to journaling to whatever I come up on a Tuesday afternoon. So, it just so happens to be the end of October, or it's like the end for me. It's the last time I'm filming in October. It's the last Monday of, of October, which means that we're coming up on the 31st. And if you have been following me for a long time, or you know, that I am an artist then you also know that a thing that uh artists do in October is quote unquote sometimes inktober but I'm using drawtober we uh, there's a huge controversy with the term inktober so we're just gonna end up this drawtober so if you don't know what drawtober is or quote unquote inktober it is a month-long challenge over 31 days of where you draw at least once a day following whatever list you wish to choose and at the end you're drained you're upset maybe you gave up halfway through we refined it over the years to some people only do it for like you know one one drawing a week two drawings a week one big drawing that they keep adding to over and over again and for me i finally was able to do a tarot themed witchy drawtober so i did um these two beautiful women's um list for this drawtober i'm so excited that i finally got finished with it i love it i think it's so pretty and today i'm actually going to be doing a flip through while talking about how everything has gone how things have worked out for me and the kind of stuff that i have ex have experienced this with this year's inktober i haven't experienced any any um drainage no artist block i've actually been blowing on vibes i've been behind on a few days mostly because i have a job so i work during the day and so i, don't, I can't always post on time which is perfectly fine but i'm just going to be doing a scroll through on my tablet of the different things of the different pieces that i've made and how i work through them so let's get into the video so i'm going to put a scroll through up here right here next to my head so let's begin so this year I have I decided to do the witchy tarot tober. So every day I decided to draw a different tarot card. Um, if you don't know what tarot cards are, they are kind of like a fortune telling fortune telling item for witches or non witches everywhere. They're actually really helpful and they have a standard that which you should always you know base your tarot cards on. I personally decided to go with you know the basic ideas for each tarot card of what they're supposed to look like and then make sure to include certain elements for each one. I'm not very fun at drawing men so I tried to avoid it as much as possible. Um, and I went the simple route of drawing pretty women and the last few days I drew simple stuff, stuff that's easy to fix. I finished all of mine thank goodness um, and I can just post them whenever they're up. Usually I would draw them at least like once, one, at least one a day but because I wanted to film this video and because of where this video falls in the month I went ahead and I just drew through all of them so I kind of based, it, based mine off of my character from last year which there's another video which I'm going to link down below uh from my from, a, from the same list from one of the same artists Sonia Stegman who I used a one on her list last year and I made my own witch character that video and other videos involving Draw October are also up on my channel from last October. And I'm so, so excited to say that I, re I brought that exact character back. Her name is Rose Marie, and I love her so much that I decided to expand her world a little bit more by including a few of her friends and a few other things into this particular um, set of art. I'm so happy about it, and I think it's so awesome. Um, excuse the music, my sister is in the bathroom doing her hair um but i used her new, her new some new characters that um are supposed to be in like her coven for the storyline that i've given her um i have also i ended up also drawing her in some other scenes through this month so there are also, also art pieces that i also posted this month so let's talk about the tarot cards so i think my favorite tarot cards are these three um one of them is the ooh, is not the empress but the magician is it the magician? Not the imp no, the Hierophant. She's one of my favorites. I think she's so flippin' pretty. I love the way I drew her. She looks so full and voluptuous. I love the way she looks. I love her little bodysuit. She looks so pretty. Beautiful. Another one of my favorite ones is my day 31, which is the Seven of Pentacles. I love it. I love it. It's another piece of Rosemary Rosemary, just looking beautiful. And then my last favorite piece is um 
the lovers i decided to use rosemary again as like a base and she has a partner who oh my goodness i can't remember their name but she has a partner who i also use during this you know set of items and they look so cute together just cuddled up it's one of my favorites honestly i think it is my favorite out of all of them a few of them i did simple things on for like so for the kings i didn't feel like drawing men so i did just simple um hands holding items for the knights i didn't know what to do so i just drew knight armor and the items in front of it overall 100 percent it has just been a lot it's been an interesting set of days um i haven't had any real problems um last year on the other hand got burnt out was doing way too many draw tober kind of tactics in one year and so this year i decided to just stick to one list and keep it moving and keep it moving um they've been pretty easy so far i might draw them days in advance actually last month i actually went through and i started drawing thumbnails for things that i wanted to do kind of made up you know my border and how i wanted that to look and then kind of went through what characters i wanted to put into this set of cards i don't know that i don't think it'll ever be an actual physical set of tarot cards i don't think i would ever do that i think it's too much work one for me two for everyone else um but if you would like to see the pictures they're all posted up on my instagram it's been a pretty easy month for me no burnout which has been so nice usually i get burnt out like day 20 something and then i quit and i don't draw anymore i mean i've done it now four years in a row i talked about this again last year but i've done this for four years in a row now it's been an interesting process and with everything that has gone on recently this is something that kind of like i look forward to i look forward to this every every year i get half fun with it i try and pick out what i want to do next year i'm not even sure what i'm going to do but honestly we're here for the vibes i love it i think it's so much fun and it's been something that has really brought back the um more artistic side for me especially with all the like witchy themes and like the witch character and i've been able to just redraw the same characters that's something else that helped i didn't try and make new characters every single day that just seemed like a lot of effort work it's simple things. I enjoyed it. I had so much effing fun. So if you are an artist or if you've ever started to experience art block during, you know, Inktober, let me tell you a few things. One, try and take a break. You can binge, I guess, art pieces on the next few days. Or if you found that Inktober stresses you out a lot more and then you but you still want to participate find smaller lists there's lists that are like only five 15 days or only five days or one every week or two every week it always depends on who you follow and what you want to do a lot of artists nowadays are making alternate lists so just in case people want to you know do a small list they'll bring down they'll you know <laughs> minimize their list down to like 15 or so and you can pick what days that you want to do you don't even have to participate in inktober or drawtober and if you find a list that really interests you or or caters to your interests at the moment then i think it's really cool because there's also things like blacktober which is where you draw different Af african-american characters or you draw characters the way you would draw them if they were african-american and it's always so much fun it's you can usually find it on twitter and on instagram I didn't participate this year but I did participate last year and it was so much fun for me. I loved it. It felt very nice to draw some of my favorite um, black characters. Another thing, when you want to participate in Drawtober, here's something that people don't really tell you. Prep the month before. Go through the list that you've picked, kind of sketch out little tiny thumbnails of the things that you think would be cool for it. They could change. They could change completely. The next month but like in that moment it feels like you're a little bit more organized and you have like a base of what you want to do and that means you don't have to spend as much time brainstorming or running around trying to think of different characters or different artist pieces so do me a favor prep the month before i'm trying to talk over the singer i apologize but it's been very interesting another thing that you can really do to help you out is stick to a color palette that's something else that i found is really helpful so you don't have to keep testing different colors or testing different um materials stick to one material or stick to one set of colors so it doesn't look as sporadic as you think it would it's fun it's good for you it's great also another thing that's really helpful is if you have a hard time drawing in digital art switch to traditional art if you 
or vice versa. If you have a hard time drawing digitally and it's been hard for you to push out pieces digitally for especially for Inktober or Drawtober, then just switch to traditional and it makes it easier on you. Or if you're more comfortable with traditional art, then work with your traditional art. Don't switch over to ink don't switch out of like whatever material that you're using or whatever medium that you're using whatever medium that you're comfortable with and that you feel you work fastest in and you feel like your art looks the best in use that one because it becomes very obvious that you don't like the material and you'll start hating the material even more if you're just randomly using it for just that month or on the other hand you can branch out of whatever material that you're using it'll even help you brainstorm a lot more so if you you know have been feeling like um, you can't think of any art pieces or you're experiencing horrible artist block, change up your medium but follow the same, but follow a list. So that way you can, you know, try new things with that exact medium so you can get more comfortable with it. And then the, the artist, the ideas will start flowing in because you're working with a new medium. All the things you could do, OMG! I have found that a lot of these things have been very helpful for me or I found that they are just something that helps speed up the process and makes me feel way less stressed. 10 out of 10 would recommend you trying you know inktober lists even outside of inktober especially if you are having a hard time drawing different things i love it it's been a great flipping time there are of course other lists that you can do because november is huevember which i would not be participating in it's just not for me i don't find it to be very fun um but there's huevember there's also mermay um i feel like i ran into something in january but i don't remember what it was yeah but yeah whatever you feel comfortable with is how you should participate in an art in like you know draw toper also if your medium is not you know hand painted or hand drawn art best thing you can use whatever you want if you are a sewer and you've been feeling blocked on what kind of pieces you should do bitch sew something up get you out a needle as a thread get you out some yarn and get to knitting mama Girl, if whatever you feel is the best medium for you for your draw to your draw October or your art October pieces, go for it. There are so many people that that participate in Blacktober and they cosplay their items. And I think it's fucking awesome. I think it's some of the cutest shit fucking ever. Support your local black art cosplayers because they're perfect. But I have been absolutely enjoying this, like I said. And I think it's a fun way to, you know, step out of your comfort zone. I talk about this every single year. I love Inktober. It's stressful. It's so interesting, but I can try drawing new things. So I find it very helpful for me. And I hope you have found this video helpful in any kind of way. If it was annoying or redundant, I apologize. If this video was not your style, but you still want to see more of me, check out all the videos on my channel. I have a multitude of different of different videos and video ideas thank you so much for watching um if you want to see more of me or more of my art all of my social media will be linked down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye